All right. So today, um, we're going to discuss or rather do a trade breakdown of a trade that I did recently. And that's Monday, no? Um, if you look at the lower left-hand side of the screen, you will see yung quote-unquote recibo screenshot nung may hawak pa ako. Um, I'm not a big fan of taking a screenshot each and every time na, oh, nag-hit ng higher, oh, nabenta ko na dito. Kasi I always preset my orders when to sell and everything. So, madalas, hindi ko siya nakakapture ng buo sa mga portfolio screenshots, no? Uh, so, ito, uh, itong screenshot na to came during uh, this day here or here, ito, before the market opened this day. Okay? So, yun yung screenshot prior to it. I took it before the market opened and then after the market opened, wala na tayong pakialam sa screenshots kasi ang focus natin dapat is na sa market na, hindi sa pag-screenshot. Alright, so I wanted to discuss... Uh, how I executed this trade, why I executed this trade, what I was looking for, and then why I selected the target to be what it was. Okay? So, uh, first I want you to take note of this white zone here. And then, take note of where it is. So, let me just pull back a little bit. Sa chart, no? So, this white zone is where this prior area of consolidation occurred before price broke out to the upside. Okay? At this time, when price broke out, ang una ko naisip dito was, okay, uh, if I could get a pullback, then baka pwede ko tong sabayan, um, uh, with its momentum since nasa all-time high. Okay, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, the next few days of this, tumaas lang, and it never really pulled back to my area. Okay? That doesn't mean na kinalimutan ko na yung area. It's just that hindi ko siya nasakyan sa first go. It would have been great if this broke out, pulled back muna before it went up. Then at least nakasabay ako sa una. But the sad reality of it is hindi lahat ng trade nasasabayan ko. And that's just the way it is, no? So, we moved to the upside and then we printed this high at 17.16. And then, we started pulling back. At the time, I had to remind myself, kumbaga na, ah, okay, sige. Uh, we still had our zone here. Depending on how price comes back, it could still be an interesting area to get in. Okay, so price pulled back, okay, dropped, and just went straight down. Okay, it went straight down, then nag reject. Diba? It went straight here, 1442, where I marked it with the line, and it rejected, closed above, nasa 15.18. Then what happened was nag consolidate Taijan Sandali, sa area na yan. So, normally, I would be looking for some type bullish pattern sa area na to to get in. Um, kaso, ang binibigay lang sa akin ng chart at this time was, it was showing that this zone was holding. Now, some people might consider this na 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, number of touches. Kung ilang beses man yun umulit dyan, 5, 5 touches. Uh, for me, it never really left, no? It just came here and stayed. And the reason for that is, Essentially, if you look at this from a higher time frame, isang body kan lang yan eh. It's just that since we're looking at it sa daily, or if you wanted to, you're looking at it sa hourly or sa minute time frame, then of course there would be more touches. But for me, essentially, price came back, stayed down here, and that did nothing yet. Except I can see dito sa daily na nago hold yung area. Okay? So, it had every chance to go down. It ranged. May mga bearish engulfing pa na naganap. I mean, I don't look at one candle in particular, but I know some people do. And, yun nga, it had every opportunity to push down and go lower. But it wouldn't. So, since it wouldn't, dito ako sa candle na to, nagsimulang magpumili. Okay? 
Okay, as you can see from yung eventual ko na average, it became 15.06, no? Uh, which means the actual average is around uh, 15, 15.02, kung tama yung bilang ko. Okay, kasi may uh, add-on pa tayo ng mga fees and such. Diyan na ako nagsimulang bumili. Then we broke higher. We broke higher. When we broke higher, uh, we broke the top end of tong mini range na nag-form. Um, I wasn't super excited about that. I mean, yes, I recognize that it happened, but it's not something na, woohoo, parang breakout na. Eh, hindi pa yun yung nasa utak ko. Uh, in my mind, all I was thinking of was itong previous support at 16.18 yung key. Okay? If price moved here, na untog, and then started pulling back, I would probably either take some profits or just close my position entirely. Depende kung ano yung itsura pag aabot dyan. But if price could break out of uh, 16.18 ng malinis, then I was looking for a target of 17.18. Just a tick above tong 17.16. Why? Uh, hindi kasi ako yung type ng trader. So I just trade swing trades. Eh. So from one level to the next. I don't trade with the assumption na, ah, okay, mag-breakout yan dyan, tapos it's gonna go to 20 or whatever. Okay? Gusto ko malinis lang, sandali lang, it's done. So, kaya 17.18 was, I had a view, or I had a belief, na if price could hit 17.10 onwards, odds are, a lot of breakout traders were gonna jump into the trade. Which means na we would break 17.16 at least by one tick and I would be able to get out. Considering na yung sell order ko, linagay ko, dito pa lang as soon as I bought the stock. So, the odds na medyo si una pa lang ako sa pila was high. So, yun yung nasa utak ko. I figured na if price reached up there, it was gonna break up at least by a little bit. Diba? What it did after that, medyo mas wala na akong pakialam. Then what happened, price actually pulled back. In hindsight, pwede natin sabihin, o oh, dapat nag-add tayo dito, but who'd have known? Diba? Who'd have known? Natutuloy tayo from there. And then, we did this. Okay? It pushed up to almost 16. Bumitin ng konti dito sa previous level of support, turned resistance. And napapaisip na ako niyan. Sabi ko, um, nauntog ba? Kumbaga, na preempt na ba yung untog dito sa resistance level. But tinitignan ko yung candle, I was like, okay, kasi it's still closed above these two candles, so we're still bullish, so I wanted to see what happened. Diba? Kaya ko naman mag-react pa the next day. No need to panic, no need to, you know, uh, press the button agad. And then the next day, it just broke out and closed above 16.18. So at this point, ang inisip ko na was, okay, um, we had a strong close. We were not going to change our target. It will stay there. But, um, titignan ko tong level na to. If it reclaims siya agad, if price just falls down and reclaims closest below this level, labas na ako. And then the next day, it held up there. It just stayed there. And then yun na nga. And this day, target was hit. Lumagpas ng konti, umabot na 17.4. Then nag-close tayo as a doji or whatever you want to call this type of candles. Um, I don't really label them. <laughs> okay? Nag-close ng ganyan and then we started pulling back. And that was the trade, no? That was the entire trade. Um, yung from execution to what I was thinking in between finally to hitting target. Now, uh, just to make this video complete, no? Uh, you might be wondering, did I buy on a pullback? kung saan nag-breakout nga siya from yung previous range? And the answer is no. And the reason why the answer is no is, honestly, hindi ko na siya nabantayan. I was looking at something else and I missed the opportunity nung bumalik siya dito. So, when it came back, I had the opportunity to get to get in. I wasn't looking at it. So, wala. So, from there, um, 
tumuloy na tayo and we have come back more or less dito sa area na kung saan nag-reject. So, what you want to see if you're bullish Monday from here is mabreak na natin yung 17.4 and we push higher. Chasing it at this price, uh, medyo hindi lang ganun kaganda kasi nga pangit na yung risk reward. Your risk would be below here or below here and you know, your immediate reward is right there. So, parang medyo tagilid ka. So, I hope na informative naman tong trade breakdown and I was able to explain everything properly and in such a way na um, clear siya para sa lahat. Uh, the last thing that I would like to tackle is now I have moved this zone to here. Why there? Kasi parang in-encompass ko lang kung saan nagre-reject karamihan ng wicks tapos kung saan yung close na kumbaga saan yung may firm close di ba? ito may close tayo here and kung saan nag-reject yung mga wicks parang kinuha ko yung area niya and ito yung area na yun so if price ever came back here depending on how it came back maybe it would still be interesting to trade right now it's not looking like that kasi nag-reject na tayo right before the area so if price comes back maaaring mauntog na siya dito sa 15.2 no? but we'll see okay so I hope nakatulong sa inyo tong video na to and you found it educational at least. If so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like, maybe drop a comment or two, and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, maraming salamat po sa panonood. Good luck and happy trading!